Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. In the last episode, we reached the end of the trial, and right after we voted Peko as the killer, Sonya was finally able to get a word in and brought up the fact that Peko probably isn't Sparkling Justice. Sparkling Justice comes from Spain and speaks Spanish, and Peko fits neither of those facts so she can't be sparkling justice. And if she was lying about that, then what else could she be lying about? However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. Duty? That's an interesting way of putting it. I've I've said from the get-go she's covering for Fuyuhiko. That covering is a bad word. I, I think he set up the crime, but she came in at the last minute to complete it. So she is actually the one who did the killing, but Fuyuhiko is the mastermind behind it all. I find it interesting that she's calling it her duty. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Oh. I think I've been looking at this as too small scale. She doesn't have a duty to Fuyuhiko, she has a duty to the Kuzuryu clan. Why would she have killed? I'm, I'm going back to one of the first things she said, where she basically admitted, oh yeah, I've killed people in the past. Why would a swordswoman kill? If she were just doing, you know, perfectly legal fights. She wouldn't, unless she were doing something illegal. My guess... Professional assassin, maybe? She's not a serial killer in terms of, oh yeah, I'm killing because I, I like it, but potentially she kills because my boss told me to do so. My boss. You know, the... Fuyuhiko's a teenager. He won't have been leader of the Kuzuryu clan for very long. Is he the leader or is he the heir? I can't remember off the top of my head, but potentially Fuyuhiko's father, uncle, grandfather, whatever. Oh! I still think they're in love. Because they have that that bond. But I, yeah, I think I was thinking too small scale. I think she works for his father, grandfather, guardian, whatever. Uh huh. Looks like she's back to normal. She never wasn't normal. She was just play acting. That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm following trains of thought to their conclusion. If she considers herself a tool, if she considers herself no more alive than a knife, then technically Fuyuhiko is the one who committed the murder. Because he wields her. Therefore everyone's voted incorrectly. 
that's what you're planning. You're trying to go off a technicality. Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Huh? Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was. I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean... Besides Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Mm. Someone who had to witness the crime, but wasn't the killer, and the only other person in the vicinity was Fuhiko. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. The proof that there was one more person at the scene of the crime, it was the body discovery announcement. I see! Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? So, what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Hmm. Jeez, fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No. That's not it. Yeah, because if he were an accomplice, then she would still be the killer, but she's trying to push that he is the killer, I am simply the weapon he used. Oh. I don't think Monokuma's gonna go for it, but that is a that is a clever ploy. That is a very clever ploy. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. She's... She's just a killer for hire. Effectively. I, I don't know why she'd be so loyal to the Kuzuryu clan, but I think... I think that's probably it. We have a problem. Send in the sword. Pekko. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Huh? Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Select someone. Hajime looks shocked for you. Hiko, where are you? Buddy. You. You're the only one! Is it Fuyu Hiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Uh, photographic evidence, my dear. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No. The events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that too. We want... the pictures. Once I just... Oh... That's annoying. Because it could be either of them. I 
feel like it either has to be one of the photos, presumably the, the one with, you know, the crime scene, or all of them together. I... I, I guess you could, with one photo, you could argue, oh, maybe she was paid, like, like oh, oh, this is just a, a photo of the three of them, like, blah, 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 but yeah, all of them together match up with the event, so I'm gonna go with this. I can prove it with this! <laughs> I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahuru's murder, but... There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. And he's seen them before. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? Because he was the first one to beat the game. You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first and received the ending prize. Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Be because it... <laughs> Kyoko. Kyoko. At this stage, I think they're probably wondering, will the technicality stand? If she's just a tool of the Kuzuryu clan, like I said, she has no more accountability than her sword. That's what she's trying to argue. And if that is, you know, like, oh yeah, I'll accept that, then we've just lost. Because Peko is the killer, right? But we already voted. Yeah, because she spurred you into action. That's why I told you, you're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. Now that, I think, is a lie because I think she was motivated by loyalty. And a weapon cannot be loyal. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. The fact that he looks nervous. No, no, not nervous. I'd say he looks distressed. And the fact that he's keeping quiet, the fact that he's not saying, yeah, she's my tool. She's nothing more than that. Oh. If I were Monokuma, if I were a cruel, cruel bastard, because bearing in mind, Fuhiko really tried hard to get the get the attention off Peko. They were working against each other for a lot of that trial. After you know everyone had disproven, you know Hyoko is the killer. It's it's got to be someone else. As as you know, when that was settled on, they were kind of working against each other because I think they both wanted to protect the other. If I were a cruel bastard, personally, what I'd do is I'd say, you know what? 
I'll, I'll, I'll accept this. I'll accept that she's a tool and all of this. I'll let her live. But you have to confirm that. Whether she lives or dies is on your word. And to make her live, you have to say you don't give a shit about her. That she is nothing more than a tool. That she is worthless to you. Can you do that for you, Hiko? If I were a cruel bastard, that's what I'd do. Hey, what's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. I have no aim. She is a tool. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Yeah. Yeah. She's... I don't know if owned. If she is going off the, like, I am a tool, I am not a person, blah, 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 then she is owned by the Kuzuryu clan. She's their... Like like I said, I, th I think she's their professional hitman or something like that. Young master? And he's still not saying anything. That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. Yeah. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? And I don't think he wants that. That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? wonders if there were clues that would have linked Peko to the Kuzuryu clan before because there there weren't any not that I saw I I'd imagine they'd probably be hidden in her free time you know maybe she'd mention oh I I've had employment for as long as I can remember and you know I had to do some unpleasant things that would be like a, oh she's got a link to a criminal organization something like that I oh like I said that's such a clever ploy I am nothing but a tool to the Kuzuryu clan I am no more alive than a sword you cannot blame a sword for murder as such y'all have voted incorrectly and he wins I can get him off the island I don't know why she'd be employed by the Kuzuryu clan. I mean, yes, she is the ultimate swordswoman. But again, I also can't really see Peko being like, I'm a gain employment from a Yakuza clan. Like it, again, there's something there that I'm not quite seeing. There is something there that would explain. I was going to say, maybe she could have been born into it, but they, they look nothing alike. He has blonde hair, which I'd, admittedly I kind of doubt is his natural hair colour, but this is anime, so, you know, Japanese characters can have wacky hair colours. Um, But y yeah, he has blonde hair, brown eyes. She has white hair and red eyes. Like, they look nothing alike. She doesn't even have the little, uh, you know, rosy cheeks, so I... I don't think she's related to him. Maybe her parents were part of the clan. 
I, I don't know, but there's there's something there that I can't see. There's more to this. I just don't know what, but I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hmm. Ahem! Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiru Koizumi is... Uh, hold on a sec. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey! There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pekko's the killer. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! Why? Ah! Well, that's obvious! You're not a tool, you're a friggin' human being! Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself. Only exist to be tools? Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? Oh. He doesn't think of her like that. He doesn't want to say because he doesn't think of her like that. And I don't think he's gonna be able to... I don't think he'll bring himself to say those words. Here's the thing, no matter which way you look at it, she's gonna die. If Monokuma votes in favour of us, then she's gonna get killed. If Monokuma votes in favour of, you know, Fuyuhiko is the real killer, all the students die, Pekko is probably still gonna get killed, because she is technically a student. So no matter what he does, she's going to die. So it all comes down to, is Fuyuhiko a selfish person? Is he willing to say, yep, I'm a sack her, I don't give a shit, she was a tool, yep, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off the island, fuck the lot of yous, is he selfish? Is he an emotionless asshole? And I don't think he is. I've said this before. Fiyuhiko strikes me as a, a quite sentimental person who's had that pushed down because he's lived a tough life. So I, I don't think he's going to be able to say it. <sighs> Pekko and I grew up together. Um... Are you two childhood friends, then? No. No. It's completely different than that. Aha! That's why she's so loyal! So she, w she was raised to take care of problems for the clan. Aha! Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzuryu clan took me in. I am nothing but a tool. She's not an assassin, she's his bodyguard! She's his personal bodyguard. Okay! Oh, I like that! They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. I'm looking at the little baby like, Jesus, 
Like, you are a child. We will give you the sword. Because <laughs> this is wise. Oh. Oh, I, I, no, I have emotions. Oh, no. I want them to be together. Oh, no, this is cute. Why are you showing me this right before she's gonna die? God damn. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. Oh, I get the feeling that end is coming sooner rather than later. That is... But that is... You are wrong. You are not a tool, Peko. I don't think Monokuma's gonna give a shit about what any of y'all say. It it all comes down to what Fuyuhiko is going to say. And I don't think he's gonna throw her under the bus. Because if you are a tool... <sighs> Then, what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. <laughs> she gives no shits. Nothing. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you are hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. Because he loves you, and you love him. I can see it. I can hear it in your voices. Oh, no. My young master loathes relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. He doesn't. He loves you, bitch! He loves you! <laughs> oh, no! I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiru wasn't you, it was... For you, Hiko? Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I'd beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Hm. Damn it. Damn it. I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me. And she's... She's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You... You tried to confirm it with Mahiru, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah, I sent her the photos because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... Pretty sure Mahiru was confused, too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... Um... You know, when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Ah, uh, sorry. I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. 
Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahiru? If you want to talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm... Um, it's pretty important, so... You know, it'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's... Oh, there goes my timer. No, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow, except there wasn't, bitch, because you did. Fuck you. I, I will say it is nice that she's like, I need to make amends. But... I, again, how do I put this? You helped cover up a murder. And you, presumably, you didn't say jack shit about it. And the only reason... That you're like, oh, I need to make amends is because the brother of the girl who's dead has gotten in contact with you and maybe you're starting to feel guilty. I just... It... It's one of those things where... Like, like I said, it, it's good that she feels guilty, but she didn't feel guilty at the time. At the time, she helped destroy evidence because, oh, she bullied me, so fuck her. Like, she didn't think about Fuhiko then. She didn't think, oh, she has a family. How would my family react if I died? Oh, that, yeah, that'd make them sad. I should do something about it. it mm. There's always tomorrow. Oh. And you know what? I'm gonna leave off right here. In the next one, like I said, I'm pretty sure that Monokuma isn't going to accept Peko's insistence that she's only a tool, therefore Fuhiko has won. Um, I'm pretty sure she's gonna die. So in the next episode, I presume we're gonna see her execution. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.